Hi guys, this is part four, the final part in making the teddy bear chair. I hope you enjoy. It's all teddy bear chair. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And don't forget guys, this is the teddy bear chair. There's the teddy and there's the chair. And don't forget, it's free to subscribe. Don't forget that. There's some design work I've done there, just for those that are really interested in the design work. And it shows the stages in making, using the tri-square and marking out the joints. There's the uh, mortise joints going in. And it shows safe clamping and the mallet being used and the chisel being used and the bench hook. I thought that was quite good, that, and showing how it can be clamped together. And that one there shows how the whole chair goes together. And I've got some little notes there in red. I'm going to type up and make that really neat. What do you think, Jake? Is that quite good? Yeah, I think it's very yeah, detailed. Very artistic, isn't it? Anyway, moving on a little bit. So we're going to quickly put it together. We've done the side rails off for the back and we've made sure the symmetry has been kept. That means it's the same on one side to the other. I'm going to line it up and carefully using a mallet and a, and a bit of scrap wood. Just tap it together. Okay, then I can put it on its side there, Jake. And I can use, if I just grab that, Jake. Yeah, and check it's square internally. Now, I can't get that little tri-square in, that large tri-square in. So I'll try that, yeah. And that, it, oh yes, that's pretty good. Look, you can see, that's yeah. level. Good. Right, so the next thing, these, these are the, the front legs and they, it all comes together like that. Um, what I suggest you do, put some glue in there. Not too much, a little bit of glue around the edge there. Okay, and then you can knock it all together. So that will go into there and get that square. Again, tap it carefully and more glue in there. And it's important you get the glue on the shoulder. The shoulder's the edge. Yeah, is that mm -hmm. right, Jake? Yeah, I think it yeah. is yeah, the edge. And tap it down so it's all nice and neat. Is it still square though? No, it's gone out of square. So hold it on its side. Yes, it's square. Look there. Oh, yes. And it's still square there. Oh no, it's not quite there. It's, it's close though. There, dead square, look. There. And then we're going to put some more rails in here. And again, you can put some glue in there. Around there, not too much. And glue around here. Okay. I don't see any glue though. Yeah, a little bit of glue coming out. Can you see? Oh yes. And glue here. That's blocked. Oh no, they are. Not too much glue. Yes. On that edge there. That's where. At the bottom, it may not touch the wood, so not too important. Tap that in there. One. Tap it in there. Then wipe off any excess glue with your finger and try and get it in any slight gaps. Yes, Jake? Is that not level? There we go. That's pretty good. Look, get rid of any excess glue now. If you get rid of the glue now, you'll find it won't then affect your varnishing when you varnish it with that um, sort of preservative you can put on. Some of the uh, shed hackers might know what varnish is. Varnish is a protective layer of, um, in effect, liquid plastic, I suppose, polyurethane. That one still looked like it was slightly out of Oh, was it? Pretty good, Jake. Got to say. Oh. There. There it is. And then this one here. We'll put someone here again, around the side, and here. Not too much. You don't want it squirting out everywhere because it's just going to make a mess of your work. And there. Now we're going to get this one. It's going to look like a chair, so line it all up neatly. Don't glue it upside down. Yeah. Now one thing I haven't done is glue these, glued these. So glue it all together. That can go in there. Put some more glue in there. Not too much. The gluing um, part I quite like. Yeah. A lot of the viewers say they like the glue, but if you can get the glue and can go wrong, don't glue it too early. Glue it dry. Do you know what that means? 
Jake, to assemble it dry. What does that mean, Jake? Um, mean? Well, it means assembling it with glue that's dry. Well, you assemble it before you put any glue on to see if it all fits. Yeah, can you see the yeah. joint? Can you see that joint closing up? Yeah, and you've got a little a couple of joints there. So I'll turn it on its side and check that they're knocked in neatly. And it's not flat. It's got to be flat and level. Now is it wobbling? Not bad. Not bad for an amateur. An amateur, as you'd say. Yeah. <laughs> check the squareness of the legs. Yeah, push that one in a bit more. And certainly that one. There. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. And then check, of course, that it's square in this direction. Yeah, Jake? Yeah. It's not bad. It, it, just... Yes, pretty good. Yeah? Mm hmm. I'm going to tap it a little bit. And then the rails. I've made these to go on and they can just be glued on and trimmed with a tenon saw. And have you just moved back a bit, Jay? This is what I suggest you do. Trim them using this bench hook. Trim them, yeah. And turn it around. Do everything slowly. Watch your hands. Yes, Jake. And move that around. Go I thought you had a question, Jake. No, I was just moving the camera. Okay, now that should look fits in neatly. Again, that can be glued in, and then you can trim off these so they're not too long. So I'll do that now. If you just pull it back, and why not? Let's see if I can cut a few together. So I'm going to take off a bit from both sides, but the more intelligent thing to do would be to take a larger piece from one side. Yeah. And you can trim these on the rotary sander if you've got one, or just some glass paper um, or sander paper. I know it has. Watch your fingers. There's some glass paper, fine grit, 100 um, grit. And then tidy up the ends before you put it, put it together. Tidy up the ends and round off the corners. That's what I do. You don't want any sharp edges. From the top, bottom. Can you see? So you get it nice yeah. and neat. And do that to every one and then put it together. And then you can glue this down. I'd have it so it's slightly overhanging there. I think that looks quite neat. Yeah. Get them all lined up so they're all parallel. Do you know what parallel means, Jake? So they're the same width no matter where? Sort of. It's so, so the lines are equal in between them, like train tracks. Parallel. Mm -hmm. And then what I think would um, be good once they're glued, we can put like a little top to the um, to the end of the legs. So I've marked it out. Can you see two little squares? That'll fit over there, just slightly bigger than that. I'm going to cut it. One. Cut another one. This can be thinner wood, thinner section wood. Yeah. About eight millimetre. I'm sure an adult friend can help. Trim off the edges. Good these bench hooks. I made this one for you, Jake. Yeah. I think it's a great little bit of this. And then these can be sanded again. It's my sand or glass paper, let's call it. There. Each corner. Put a slight edge to the corner. And again. And then sand it along the grain. The grain's along the lines down it. There's the grain there. Yeah. Sand it. Don't go across. It just looks like you scratched it. 
and then most importantly take that sharp edge off yeah and again take your time on it I'm rushing it a bit because I'm on on camera of course and then that will go on there neatly yeah Just get that rough edge off that will go on there and the same again on that side of course I'll trim the corners and then glue it all together now and then you can put your little logo on there if you want to mine's shed hacks and then um, I think Jake mentioned about clamping it yeah. for some of you it might be best that you put a, a clamp on it this is a little quick grips and make sure you clamp it so it still remains in the same shape and you could clamp the rear legs as well What's rear mean, Jake? Um, the back side yeah, of something. Back. And I'm going to put this one. Between the two rails. Rail there, rather so evenly um, clamped. Yeah. And that, once it's glued, will be your teddy bear chair. So... He will look great, won't it? Mm-hmm. There he is. He looks happy. And the glue will dry in about um, an hour, depending on the temperature. It's quite cold today here. Okay. And uh, there you have your little teddy bear chair. So is there anything important that the shed hackers need to know about? Um, I suppose keep your work neat, be organised. Make sure you mark out. I think it's really good if you are interested in this and to follow your your notes and how things are made. So this is a step by step I've done. Perhaps um, the viewers might want to follow that, help them do that their own. But uh, you learn a lot from this project. I'm making yeah. all these mortise and tenon joints, about ten of them in, in all, and the assembly is quite good. And I think I've shown you the sizes now. But you can make the sizes up if you want. Mm -hmm. Make it slightly different. And I urge um, uh, Shed Hackers to, um, you know, come up with some perhaps different um, ideas of um, finishing it off. Look, I've got some detail on that one. I've cut out with the saw, which I could do there to make it look neater. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to cut off the edges here so it's more rounded. No sharp edges. And I think, you know, that'll look really good. Mm -hmm. so there we go. Do you like it, Jake? Yeah. Anything you've learnt from it, do you think? Um, I don't think so, but I think it will be a good beginner's project. Yeah, it is. It's really for the youngsters, but um, adults make these sort of things. And you can buy these in these sort of farmer's markets for about £20, £30. Pounds, usually um, with some sort of logo. You can put your name on it, Jake. Yeah. Well, it's got dirty, that. Could be Jake's chair, couldn't it? <laughs> Should I do that? But, um... I like it. Well done. And good luck to you, Shed Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe.